Heartworm. It's a pretty nasty disease. You sure don't want your dog to get it. But is it as bad as many people say it is? This is an update. Is the incidence going up and down? Do you need preventives? Can you use natural options? Find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Hard to imagine anything worse. You know, a worm like this growing inside your dog's heart. The heartworm life cycle, the mosquito bites an infected dog, it matures in the mosquito, infects your dog. What are the signs of heartworm disease? It goes from class one to class four. Class one, very mild, maybe an occasional cough. You might not notice anything else. Class two, you're seeing more of a cough. Your dog's a little bit more tired. Then you're getting into stat class three. It's much more serious disease. You've got this ongoing cough. You've got this dog that's really weak, sickly. It's showing more classic signs of heart disease, right? He's got, think of these, adult worms within the heart. And then you go to class four where there's such a heavy worm burden. It's called the cable syndrome. So many of these worms are actually obstructing blood flow. There are treatments for heartworm disease, a drug called amidocide. It's much more serious, can have much more serious secondary side effect. And I suspect you've heard this from your veterinarian. Clearly the best treatment is prevention. There's a number of different products out now to prevent heartworm. You know, ones like Revolution, HeartGuard, etc. Unfortunately, we're dealing with an increasingly number of heartworms being resistant to these preventive medications. Secondarily, like, does every dog need to be on preventives? My dog, where I live, she's not on any preventives. I also wanted in part to give you a bit of an update of the incidence of heartworm. Like, is it increasing? Is it decreasing? You know, I'm pretty confident you go see your veterinarian, you're being told like, get your dog on a heartworm preventive. Get your dog in at least once a year to be tested for heartworm. Perhaps that's true, perhaps not. Up until about 2016, in Canada, in the US, the incidence of heartworm is actually increasing. But some of the more current studies, they're suggesting something different. Depending on who you talk to, what do they say, it can be really confusing. So consider the conclusion here of the 2016 study. So this analysis confirms that heartworm infection is increasing in prevalence in areas throughout the USA. So in 2016, the national estimate for heartworm positive dogs was 1.2 million. In 2019, the estimate dropped slightly to about 1 million infected dogs. In Canada, they've seen on average a decreasing trend, so a decreasing number of animals testing positive for heartworm in most provinces except for Manitoba, Quebec. First, so do you need to be on a heartworm preventive? Really, that depends on where you live. You know, if I lived in an area where heartworm was endemic, such as the southeastern US, like I would have Tula on a heartworm preventive. But the area where I live, you know, heartworm is very, very, very uncommon. If it, she isn't on a preventive. So first, you need to know the stats, like what's the incidence or not. So in Canada period, the incidence is really low. Obviously, that's different in the US. And if we look at this US map here, where they're showing like the prevalence of heartworm, some of these areas were in the Gulf Coast, they're saying it's almost 100% of the dogs that were tested, tested positive. Some of these states, as you're going further up west, especially up here north, such as Idaho here, I live just above Idaho, the prevalence is very, very small. If I ever happen to live in Idaho, do you want she won't be on a heartworm preventive. Holistically, what's the best way to prevent heartworm? No question, the best way is preventing as many mosquito bites as possible. There are a number of different natural insect repellents. Here are some of the ones that I've showed you how to make in the channel that can also effectively repel mosquitoes. So make one of those holistic insect repellents. You know, daily mist your dog, right? Get yourself a little flea comb, use that flea comb to lightly spread it through. Do things to ensure that your dog has a functioning, well-primed immune system. Making sure your dog is on a great, good quality diet. Less crappy kibble like this, and more animal protein like this. No heartworm for you. Minimal vaccines. Your dog does not need multiple vaccines every year. In all likelihood, that's doing far more harm than good. Supplements that which may help make your dog's immune system more effective. You know, omega-3 fatty acids in the form of krill. Some of the antioxidants, other anti-inflammatories, immune supportive products such as Colostrum and my supplement, Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula. I'm not saying these supplements, like any of these suggestions are gonna prevent and or treat heartworm. Far from it. What I am saying that if your dog happens to be getting this parasitic infection, at least he's got 
somewhat of a better chance to have an immune system that's fighting it in the first place. Say your dog gets heartworm. Like, should you be considering some of these holistic options to treat it? You know, things such as black walnut, wormwood, garlic, the homeopathic nosodes. If Tula were to ever get heartworm disease, I would be conventionally treating her. You know, if she's got out of heartworms, I'd be using imidacide. It is possible that the homeopathic nosodes, all right, that that black walnut, that wormwood, it could be beneficial to some degree, but I don't see enough dogs that have responded to those treatments uh, to comfortably recommend them. But you really can question, you know, your veterinarian. Like, do you need to be on year round preventives? Perhaps you live in like the Gulf Coast, it's endemic. They're seeing this high, high prevalence of heartworm. Okay, you live somewhere else. You're living in Idaho. Mm, personally, I don't think that's the case. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. I hope I haven't like just made you even more confused, but I do really think what's most important, just knowing like, what is the incidence? Like, you know, talk to your clinic, like give me the exact prevalence of heartworm in my area. Then you can make a much more informed decision. Thanks again for watching. It's Dr. Jones.